Welcome to Sweeping the Country. I guess we can call this the holiday edition, Jimmy, or one of them. Yeah, holiday edition, because we're uh, we're recording this right before turkey time, and then we're some people will be listening to us later on. I'm yeah. sitting here with three packages that came in today that I was a good boy and already done some online shopping. Excellent. And, and for, for my granddaughter, got some pretty sweaters, and uh, I guess she's not going to listen to this. She's in the first grade. Well, she might. So, you don't know, but I mean, yeah. You know, I'll yeah. show you. See, you can right, see. It's see. very pretty. This is oh, sweater, man, that nice. is. It looks like it's handmade. Anyway, I'm, I'm used to buying girl clothes. I don't, I don't ever, you know, because I've had now, let's preface. You're not, and right, you're two, not wearing two older them. granddaughters, well, so you... I've been buying girls clothes <laughs> for a long time. But you're not and wearing them. I get, I I get always 100% great reviews. Yeah, you, but you're not wearing girls clothes, just to preface. No, I, mean, I just, I wear, yes, it's and just it's... I have a lot of daughters <laughs> and yeah. girls, but girls in my life. Girls, right. girls, girls. That was an Elvis Presley movie I, uh, one time. I think it was also a Van Halen song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so I, it, I highly, you know, I used to say I would not going to order online and try to do local shopping or oh, something, yeah. but I have a little back issue that keeps me from doing certain things for a long time. Mm-hmm. And the thought of being somewhere and just having to walk around a store, not knowing what I wanted, just hoping something will jump out at me. Yeah. And when it does jump out, hope it's in the right size and all that. I have no interest in doing that whatsoever at all. Now, I am going to make one stop at a local, really nice toy store. Yeah. Because I like to support those people. Yeah, yeah. I do like to see toys uh, in person because you really, it's hard to buy them online. When you do, I mean, you know, I can give you many examples. Like you might see something like this online. You think it's big, (laughs) but it's this big. Right. You know, and so... You really don't know what you're doing you know, online a lot of times. And there's a lot of things that look great when you shoot them, take pictures of them. Oh, yeah. But in reality, they're pretty crappy made and stuff like that. So it's, you know, I think you if you have a local toy store, man, keep them in business. That's just a great well, thing. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure the day after Black Friday is Small Business Saturday, which, yes. which is, you know, I mean, people kind of say, oh, yeah, whatever. But, no, it's real. I mean, you're right. Um, I've noticed there's some companies that I order from online in the past that I will not order from anymore. I won't say uh, what the brand is or anything like that. I don't want to bash anybody, but I've bought furniture from an online store before. Mm-hmm. And when I get it, it's smaller than normal furniture. Yeah, I couldn't, I, I would never do that myself. Or a mattress or yeah, a lot I just, of things. I'm just like not that. doing it, it just, anymore. I mean, people yeah. do it. Yeah. In fact, I might have bought a mattress that came in a box once. And we used it for a while, and it was good. But I think yeah. when it was bad, it was bad. But it was uh, interesting, you know, because you had to let it sit out for a day. Oh, to get it had, like Chinese poisonous gas in it or something to escape. I don't or know what that. <laughs> <laughs> That's something really, really bad. You so, might not be you wrong. Know, you live and learn on a lot of these yeah. things. But yeah, yeah. Clothes, particularly children's clothes. I don't. And if it's a reputable place, you can kind of tell. I can tell anyway. So, yeah, you can. You can. I've for done sure. that, and then you know, then I just. I still have tried to figure out. I can't do it. I've tried to do it a couple of times. Order groceries online. Ooh, now I'm experienced. I got to go I'm... to the grocery store. I just have to be there. Now, yes, the other day, maybe the day before yesterday, yeah, I had a mission. Okay. I knew three things that I was going to get. Mm-hmm. And so the goal was to get the three things. And? One was Eggos, the other was orange juice, and then another was some kind of fruit. Okay. <laughs> I hit the Eggos first because yep. that was near the front of the store. Got those, put them in the bag, rushed to the orange juice. They were having a sale. Mm-hmm. Two for five dollars. I bought six. Okay. Uh, six of these cylinder a, looking. A bit of an impulse. That's a bit of an impulse buy. I mean, that you kind of. No, I have to use orange. I use okay. orange juice for the medicine. Okay. So I use it every night. I use a half a glass. And so I go through and I use really good orange juice. Okay. Uh, the Tropicana had a sale the other week two for something, but I can definitely tell the quality of the juice is different. Okay, so, so anyway, I'm an orange juice connoisseur. I love orange okay, juice. Okay, so third there thing. There was a bag of these, uh, look like tangerines or something. So I bought the smallest bag of that. Got out of there. It is so hard to do, to oh, go into a grocery oh, yeah. store and you see, because there's all kinds of, did I stop? Did I, no, I lied. I saw a st- <laughs> an end cap thing, you know, where they put Impulse the, these buy. people that sell food I think they pay a lot of money or do something to get there to have a stand out in the middle of the road yeah. there in the meat counter. 
and it was from Ocean Spray, and it was my canned cranberry sauce. Uh, the kind of ribs and the jelly. Yeah. I, oh, my. So I bought two of those because <laughs> I got to take one to one daughter's house and one to the they other. got you, Jimmy. And I'm the only one that gets it, so yeah. I got it. So I made sure I'm getting my cranberry sauce. Excellent. But I did buy four things. So you cannot – I defy most people to go into a grocery store and not come out with something that was an impulse buy or I you agree. Didn't need it or – Oh, that's really good. I can't wait to do that. I've tried to go when I'm hungry. I've tried to go after I've just ate. You're never supposed to go to the grocery store hungry. You should. You, know you buy right? everything in sight. Now, I got to oh, speak. You start seeing all these meals in the place that I won't let myself stop very long. I yeah. did get some the other day. Uh, I wanted some emergency food, I call it. And that's the kind that 9 o'clock at night when you're hungry. And okay. I want food. I don't want to eat junk. I don't want to have a fudsicle or something. Yeah, I would yeah. like something that's at least identified as food. That's where I use the Eggos. Okay, a waffle. Two yeah. Eggos, and it kills my appetite, Yeah, and I don't think it's horrible for me. A little bit horrible, but not bad. Um, <laughs> so I got it. But I got these frozen corn dogs. Ooh, that sounds good. And it was a, it's a minute 15. Ugh. They feel mushy. And I well, think they I microwave. Need yeah, I did you, them in the microwave. You gotta cook them in the oven, I think, to get them crispy. But I don't really? know. I don't know. I okay, think so. Yeah, I I'm not a cook. I'm the last one you want to talk to about that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, maybe they need to be cooked. You're right. I probably does. But it takes longer. I Too can't long. wait. Well, Let put go. one in you the know. microwave just to tide you over while you're cooking the other ones. That's what I like to do. And just, yeah, just cook one. Lord, I'm looking for immediate instant <laughs> gratification. I got to tell you. Thing. I got to tell you. So we start. You're talking about the delivery. I've been anti grocery store delivery, too. And you made me think of something. One. Well, I don't mean anti. I just can't. I tried it. And it didn't work for no, me. I wasn't you, really happy with what came. Yeah, you got to pick out wasn't your exactly stuff. Exactly what I wanted, and it just was something about. I'm it surprised the grocery stores are behind that as much as they are, and I know they got into it over COVID, but yeah. because of what you just said, if I order online, I guess you can impulse buy while you're ordering. But I mean, where, what happens to the impulse buy if you just order what you want online? And then you have it delivered or you pick it up without going into the store, they lose the impulse. Well, they buy. try to get you a couple of times. Like, this is on sale or it pops up or you something. Go, would you like this and that kind of stuff? They're okay. trying to hit okay. you up on some things that are marked up. You know, I'm sure they've got some kind of deal on or whatever. But I don't think you, I could never buy meat that way. Yeah, I, I got to see anything. it. I got to see it. I got to see it. Touch and it. I want to know what the expiration date is. Yeah, yeah a couple fair. Of things. I just, I don't know. That's fair. No, my wife has started doing this new thing, and she orders. She asked me if I'll stop by the grocery store, and she knows I hate going in. I don't like the crowds. I don't like if you put me in a yeah. Costco or a Walmart, <clears throat> I will probably have some kind of panic attack. I do not I, like I almost, it. I, I really personally would rather take a beating than go to Walmart. Yeah. Okay. So fair. Or we're, we're in the same boat. That's there. for other people, not for me. Right. Not, yeah. But my family goes. Everybody can go. But me, Jimmy didn't like to go. I don't either. And if either. I go, it's got to be the middle of the night. When nobody's there. Sunday morning at 6 o'clock or something yeah, like that. Exactly. I Str really got to go. Strangely enough, you and I can both go to a college football game without a problem, and there's a lot of people at that. But I just I, don't like all of I just don't like it. I don't either. So she started this new thing where she orders the food, and she says, can you go by the grocery store? And I say, well, do I have to go in, or did you did you buy it already? Did you? And she says, no, nope, I ordered it online. And you just have to park in the spot, tell them what number you're in, and they'll bring it to your car. And so I do that. She orders it. I don't know what she orders. I've, my daughter does that. She orders orders it online. Yeah. And she goes and picks it up because she's got babies in the car. She can't get out. It's nice. I mean, so that's, that's nice. nice. Yeah. But, uh, I'm not that organized, and, and your wife is. Yeah. And I'm more than I am. Not, and uh, it's just. Yeah, you know, what are you gonna do? I don't mind picking it up if I don't have to get out of the car. I just wheel, I wheel up, put it in. See you later. If so, now, are you a pig on Thanksgiving? Oh yeah, big time. You are. Yeah, I, I am can't be. I eat the same. I can eat the same amount of food pretty much at lunch today as I can eat on any other lunch. Oh, I can no. sit there like a camel and just blah, 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 you know do that. So will you just eat one plate at Thanksgiving and that's it? Well, I mean, going to, first of all, I'm going to, to you know, there's how I used to do it when I was a kid versus an adult. And I've had okay. all the different things in between. Yeah. Uh, for a lot of reasons, uh, with one of my daughters, we go to a really nice restaurant at lunch time. That's nice. And it's, uh, it's pretty expensive and they do 
this exploding on fire dessert you know they cook Ooh. at the table and all that Ooh, stuff it's, i like it it's a really high-end restaurant and they do a pretty high-end uh meal and it's this turkey and dressing it's a Ooh, fixed that, that sounds and nice salad salad bar that's great and all that stuff so uh i will do that for one and then i'll go to my oldest daughter's house mm -hmm. that evening and that's where i'll use my cranberry sauce and eat whatever she okay. wants to give me what's left on on that night and then there's supposed to be something else going on the next day. But I just, you know, in the old days, but I hated Thanksgiving because my mother would not let us have a lot of food in the morning. She would, you know, I'd eat my Frosted Flakes or something. Yeah. Maybe a piece of toast, and that's all that we would get. <laughs> so you didn't spoil dinner. I was, yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> uh, and then lunch was always late on mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, like one thirty or 2 or something, when we used to eat at 12 or 11.30. Yeah, 30. yeah, yeah. And so I was starving to death by that point. <laughs> and then it comes time to eat, and I am I can only eat so much, and I'm full already. Then that's it. So I would always enjoy the meal actually better at night when we'd time for dinner. Yeah. I'd get a big slab of dressing and a lot of times a turkey sandwich on toasted Ooh, bread. Ooh, that sounds good. That, that's even better than it was at lunch. Yeah. And, uh, and whatever else there was left, there's usually never any peas left or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. But, so I would enjoy it better, and I would enjoy a turkey sandwich the next day mm -hmm. better. Did you guys as far as just eating it right then? Hot turkey doesn't do a thing for me. Man, and I know. So I know. There's a lot of people listening right now. They're probably going back in their mind, like I am, listening to you. I'm going back and going, "What was our Thanksgiving like?" And I remember a lot. We always had a lot of appetizers, and the biggest appetizer we had every year, and it, and it's going to happen again this year, is deviled eggs. We would always have deviled eggs. With every Thanksgiving. See, I never ate stuff like that. Really? I mean, I, personally, I still don't. I've never, I, oh, listen, I'm so weird. I don't eat chicken salad, potato salad, tuna uh, salad, uh, salad. I don't eat deviled eggs or or any of that stuff. Wow. I eat scrambled eggs cooked well. That's the only thing I do now, with if, eggs. But if I served you a deviled egg, would you eat it? Oh. Because I've never had peanut butter and jelly. I you had it at my house. Well, you had peanut butter. That's true. You made me eat it. That's I, right. I thought my mouth was going to fall out. Actually, That's for, the only for those that had. don't know, yes, Jimmy. I don't what what I don't even know how old you were when you. It, it was ten years ago, right? Maybe at least it maybe more maybe, maybe, maybe 10 or 15 more. Years ago. And he was over at the house, and he had you had mentioned that you had never had peanut butter and jelly, and so my wife made a peanut butter and jelly, and you actually took a bite and then spit it back onto the plate. Yeah. <laughs> It's just I don't know how I got that way. How is that I was bad? Mikey in those commercials, you know, my my palate has definitely broadened out. Good, but thank goodness. I was pretty narrow in my eating for many many that years. That is funny. And as a reporter, that worked out pretty good because yeah, fast food was okay. Yeah, and steak was okay, and just get me a you know well done piece of meat. And you're you know, good to go. Potato and a drink, and I was pretty happy. <laughs> the so same way with barbecue and all the other foods but i just never never i remember we had a tray and i remember i used to see it my mother would get out you know the fine china yeah for thanksgiving mm -hmm. and the and the fine other things you know like this tray and i remember it now with all these different kind of pickles oh yeah that sounds pretty these good. little bitty pickles and little other pickles. gherkins and oh yeah yeah and all that so i'd eat a couple of those and that's but it, huh? that was about the only thing i ate i don't did i don't do nuts I didn't, nuts don't do nuts. I do like macadamia nuts, but I don't like any other kind you of You don't nuts. like a cashew? I mean, I get peanuts. No. No. Wow. Is that peanut butter, peanuts, or any of that stuff? I just don't like the taste of it. How about a walnut? If it's there in a candy or something, I'll eat it. You eat it that way. But I just don't just go eat it. No. Wow. I'm I've fortunate. lived this long somehow. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I've lived this long somehow. Not, you know, That's being able true. To I mean, we all have different tastes. In fact, but it, it's not a matter of taste. It's just ridiculous. The things I, I don't, you know, I don't like mayonnaise. I don't put that on anything. Wow. What? Someone, but I ordered a hot dog the other day at a Dairy Queen, which yeah. you should eat hot dogs anyway. They gave me the hot dog. I opened it up. It had mayonnaise all over it. And I threw it in the trash can. Oh. I, mean, I wasn't going to eat mayonnaise on a hot dog. <laughs> I think you just go, I think you go to Haiti's immediately <laughs> for doing stuff like that. Oh, my Lord. But I it's don't, just, well, you're you not going to change I don't know now, how. Huh? I don't know. My, God bless my mother. She cooked. You know, she was a Southern cook. She cooked great fried chicken. Oh, yeah. And we've gone through this with the whole, you know, back in the, when I was raised, mm -hmm. mothers after 
I guess during the Korean War or for whatever reason, they were very, they didn't work. You know, a lot of them were housewives. They yeah. worked in the house, but they would cook every day. Mm -hmm. It seemed like once a week or at least every two weeks, but it seemed like it was once a week, they would do those salmon croquette things. Oh, that sounds Fried salmon. Remember, you, you about, you couldn't, you couldn't stand it yeah. when you'd hear me say salmon was, it came in a can. Yes, yeah, I remember and, that. And they made these, and they made they balled it up, and they made like a hamburger patty. Yeah, and fried it. It was like a crab cake, but it was with the salmon. Yeah, like a crab cake. Yeah, yeah, but it was made out of that canned salmon. Yeah, and I remember it. And because my forced, I mean, I was starving to death, so I had to eat it. Yeah, you know, it, when and I remember those with ketchup. Mm, I remember. Yeah, that's sounds pretty good. And uh, I never ate fish after that. Isn't that the weirdest thing? Sixty I, years or however how long? No, I mean I had to eat that kind of fish, it, but but, but I never you, went back. I mean I love shrimp. I had yeah. some. I had much to that. I had shrimp. I love shrimp and scallops and mm -hmm. crab and lobster. But you won't. So a lot of I the don't eat oyster, fish. particularly raw oysters. Would you eat and like? I don't eat any fish. No tuna. No salmon. Nothing. No cod. No nothing. nothing. Wow. Nothing. I don't have a reason for it. Actually, I did eat, eat a piece of a steak. It was some kind of steak, swordfish steak or something. Yeah, at he... some high end restaurant, and it, it 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 didn't kill me, but it's nothing I'd ever really wanted to seek out again. That's interesting. You know, I mean, it's kind of with like you said, it's kind of like what you're raised eating, though. I mean, I'm not a huge fish. My guy. family ate birds and pheasants and dove, and and you don't eat any of that crap. I didn't eat any of that stuff. Maybe, uh -uh. I maybe I don't know what's wrong. And fish with you. was Something's a farm. Wrong. They, we had a farm, <laughs> and they caught bass and. Other things, and they yeah, what is it, that, took it outside and everything. No, no. That is something's wrong with you there. I like I don't beef. Know what it, <laughs> I'll eat beef and some pork. <laughs> would you? That's about you know. Would that's you it, eat it, like it. wild game, like elk or or venison? No, or? I had they another one of these people like you up in Canada <laughs> made me <laughs> uh, like me. It was a special. It was a special forces guy from Canada. Yeah, and I, I was I was on the radio for several decades in Edmonton. Yeah. And it was popular. And so this special forces guy who had gone across Canada in a snowmobile, he was a tough guy. Yeah, guy. Yeah. Okay. He said, I'm going to make you eat moose. So somehow he had moose meat. Okay. And he grilled the moose meat out in the parking lot of this Ford dealership that I did sponsorship for. <laughs> and, and he grilled this moose steak mm -hmm. and cooked it well, the way I wanted it. But then he, Pretty much supervised me eating it. And? It was going to, you know, tie me up until I ate it or something. <laughs> but it? I ate it. It tastes like roast beef. Yeah, I think like elk tastes again, like again, it would be hamburger. nothing I would go seek again, but oh. I was able to live through my moose steak adventure. <laughs> but, that is wild to me. And for the record, Jimmy's over 50 years old. So if yes. people I mean, it's just, know that. What is weird? I don't know how that occurred. Now, I love... You know, veal piccata, that's one of my favorite things in the world. That's a strange, I mean, it's good, but it's a that's strange a, that's thing. If it's cooked right, it has to be a pretty good, a really, really, almost a great Italian restaurant, like in New York. Yeah, they, they got to know how to do it. Do it, it. Somehow. Yeah. And, uh, they do it somehow. Other people, now, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it at some half ass place. Did your, um, did your mom or even your grandmother, did they stuff the turkey with stuffing? or? No, did, we, I, we don't know what it's, in Alabama... It was a cornbread dressing. That's what we have. No, my because my wife's from Oklahoma. Some places so, don't. Yeah. Some places don't do the cornbread dressing. Mm -hmm. They do a stuffing. I was listening to Blake Shelton talk about stuffing. Yeah, and I don't even know what stuffing is. Well, my I mean, my grandmother used it to. It ain't cornbread dressing though. I think I've seen stuffing. Yeah, and I think I ate it. Is that where you get like bread and it, it's yeah, soft? You, yeah, and you put it's kind of like the cornbread stuffing, but no cornbread, and you put it inside the turkey when you bake it. And then it comes out. Yeah. It's kind of weird. This is where we have a disconnect on cooking. <laughs> because <laughs> as a little boy, I my mother it. ran me off in the kitchen. Yeah. So I remember when the turkey came in, I was curious. Mm -hmm. So here's this naked thing that she has to let out for a day <laughs> to thaw out. That's which true. I thought that was odd. Yeah, it, it is. Well, it which is, is just not, not any good. But she would take this thing out of the butt of the turkey. And it would be a metal cage looking thing. Yeah. And it had something that I don't know what that was, nor did I ever want to find out. You probably but, ate it. No, no, no. I you didn't eat gib giblets <laughs> or anything. I was very clear the about what I was. neck and all I that. Ate white, I only ate white meat. Oh, and that's it had good. to be, you know, I, only, I cut it. it. 
I knew what I was putting in my goosebell. I just didn't need anything. But but yeah, that stuff that's coming out of the rear end of the turkey, I just I don't want anything to do with that. I for years would eat the stuffing until I found out that it was stuffed into the no. the bird, and then no. I quit. And then now my wife makes the cornbread dressing, which with eggs and all that in it, and it's it's fantastic. It's just some kind of Oklahoma thing, but I but I love it, and uh, I think but it's see, fantastic. And I, and I remember when first got married, she was from the Northeast Air Force yeah. family, and we went up there one of the first times for I think I'd ever been away from home of the holidays and men i mean everybody's got their regional deal oh totally yeah uh, and and i had to suffer through uh they had some kind of weird you know a lot of a lot of northeastern people eat soup yeah for the, for yeah that that's a oyster soup and some other kind of soup you know and clam and yeah, all this clam chowder is a big seafood oriented yeah. up there and uh that was it was and they had stuffing come to think of it it wasn't cornbread dressing so I mean I've struggled. Yeah, you know, I can imagine some of that over the years. But you know I love a Southern Thanksgiving. It's just that I would, families, you know, are all moving around. And then if you have daughters and they get married, they've got two sets. You know, they got other oh, in-laws. Yeah. That's right. With. That's right. And, and particularly with kids, and so they, you know, it's 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 a mess. And yeah. So yeah. For people, if you're on the outs, you know, me, I'm not living in town with them. So I'm coming in, so they just have to work me into something right. either special or different or whatever. Now, and now, so what it's about not the same? You know, I haven't had one of those normal Thanksgiving family dinners in a, in a long time. Yeah, I would I would agree with us too. As they get married, as as uh, families, you know, kind of separate you, and they go their own you way. You try to get together, you, you know, do. at one you of do. these times, either Christmas or or Thanksgiving. Yeah, but, but this, it's inconsistent you know, at best. It's certainly it, not consistent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so now we didn't touch on uh, dessert. Now, what is, what's the typical Southern, what did you do for uh, pie, or did you no, do? No, the first thing that I recall is something that I rarely can get. And uh, I know my mother made it, and it was just two things mm-hmm. that my mother made. And I just, you know, <laughs> I tried to get, you know, better halves to make it, and they tried, and sometimes yeah. they succeeded. But the number one thing was a what they call a pound cake. Pound cake. I don't cake, know if yeah. everybody knows what a pound, yeah, I know cake, what a pound is, cake is. Yeah. But a pound cake was one of the, they made it. A, you know, it's a a round cake and it's got a thing in the middle. Yeah. You know, it's like a donut thing. Those are just oh my god, a fresh pound cake. Die for that. Interesting. Okay. And then she made and she would make it for my brother who was in Vietnam or in the army, even in Germany, uh, she would make fudge. Mm, boy. And she good. had a, she had the, she had some old fashioned deal where I remember, I, cause I know nothing about cooking. I've yeah. never cooked squat. I said, I microwave, mm-hmm. but she had this, uh, like a thing of cooking, measuring cup full of water. And I remember she would drip this chocolate stuff in the water and see what it did. Or something like she had some I don't kind know of what that is about. perfect I don't... formula for when something was right. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, she made the best fudge, and it'd have to sit for a day, I think, you know, before you could really get into it. But fudge, brownies, pound cake were great. If you like the, uh, we did pies particularly. Yeah, uh, they may have done pumpkin pie, but that's another one on the no fly list for me. I don't do pumpkin. Okay, pie. I'm going to send you something this year because for Thanksgiving, my oldest daughter is my only daughter but my oldest child is coming the other one's with a different set of relatives so just going to be a couple of us and we decided to go back to my grandmother's heritage of portugal and we do this every other year maybe or so but we're going to make portuguese sweet bread so if i've heard of that before but i don't know what it is if you like pound cake don't you think he'll like that yeah i think he'll i i think you'll like it it's sweet some people in the south used to get and it's this is old foods that people don't eat anymore. Yeah, it's uh, fruit cake. No, it's nothing like it's an that. Old European thing. No, and people in Georgia made it, and it was a lot of pecans. Yeah, and people poured whiskey on it. Yeah, I remember that. you had to pour whiskey on it because it was like a rock. You would yeah. get it. it was so hard, and it's it somehow yeah, it was hard, and somehow they put it in the oven sometimes. And, yeah, and, and, and put whiskey all over it. And 
No, I don't here's know. It was only, never anything I was going to eat anyway. So. Here's the only problem with the sweet bread. It's good with butter on it. Just put toast it and put butter. When you get it, you'll you'll. What see. are the ingredients on it? It's, it's not like, like a pig, it, pig no, belly or anything no, like no, that. No, no, no. It's all good. It's like uh, flour, sugar, yeah. uh, salt, yeast, butter. Another thing that, that they eggs. used to make, you ever heard of this? You ever heard of divinity? Oh, yeah. It's like white fudge. It's white with something. nuts in it and i remember oh, tasting that a couple times i don't know what it, i don't know what divinity really is i don't ever see it again anymore but i remember seeing it you know during that holiday i remember seeing it you know where i saw it commercially i saw it at uh, disneyland in their confectionery uh, store i've seen yeah, it in there pure, it's a lot of sugar pure, yeah. Pure. yeah 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 and then some people like and i do like pies i love an egg I custard too. pie it's one I of my too. favorite things in the world I love an apple pie. I Great like fruit apple pies. pie. There's nothing like it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't do it. I do coconut cream. That's good. That's I pretty good. That. Banana cream. I like that too. German. Banana cream. I would do that. And then that's, we're toward the end of the list. Okay. No German yeah. chocolate pie? German chocolate? Yeah, that's okay. German oh. chocolate. That one. We had a we, Pecan? My brother, my oldest brother married a German. Oh, she was from Vienna, but she was really mostly from Germany. Yeah. And uh, she would. You know, there was German chocolate that I would that would kind of in, somehow show up mm-hmm. with that, and that's kind of got seemed like it had coconut in it. And it yeah, was, yeah, it seems. wasn't over the top sugar. It, it was good though. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I like that too. German chocolate cake was good. So yeah, I was a little more normal on the dessert. On the des- <laughs> yeah, you but, sound a little more normal on the dessert. <laughs> but I'm not normal at all on the, some of the other I, stuff. I remember my grandmother bring. We we always had as kids. You probably had this too. The adults would sit in one room, and then all the kids. Oh yeah, the kids table. We Even had the, the funerals kids table. and stuff like that. We had all, all that of it was. But there I were remember a lot of children in my mother's family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I remember one year of sitting at the table. We were about twelve. Now remember, this is Portuguese immigrants, right? They yeah. some barely spoke English, and so. We were all kind of gathered together, and then my grandfather's side, which was German, he he was fine. He spoke English, but everything was fine. But but his wife, my grandmother, she spoke English but was Portuguese, and she came in and gave us all these aluminum cups, these little colored aluminum cups that we would drink milk out of. But they poured wine. Ooh. We we were twelve. <laughs> You know, and I, she yeah, that poured wine me. in our cups. Yeah, but, you know, I think a lot of Europeans probably kids probably get some wine. Yeah. At a fairly young age, I didn't get in. I like a good glass of wine. I've never been able. This is another thing. I've never been able to find, and I've quit looking because I think I'm also maybe even allergic to it. Yeah. Never could find a good red wine. I just, but I love Pinot Grigio. Okay, and I'm making I, notes now. I love Pinot Grigio. I'll do a Chardonnay too. Mm-hmm. And I'll, I can do a wine. You know, go up to wine country and taste all the different. Wines, those are, those are all fine. Yeah. I, I taste them all. Yeah, yeah. But I, I don't like that Riesling, though, the really sweet <laughs> I, wine. I, I think like it's that. Riesling. Riesling? Well, I don't like it. I just know it starts with an R. It's on my list. But I do love Pinot Grigio. And I Pinot do love, Grigio. Uh, make a note of that. I got my assistant great. working it's, today. It's easy. It's more like water. You know, it doesn't bite yeah, back at Yeah, I, I agree. There are... Some of the Chardonnays are good, too, the oaky kind. I mean, there's a lot of different stuff. In fact, I'm just now thinking about it. I'm sure I will get a glass of wine. Instead of tea or water for Thanksgiving, that'll help a little bit. Sometimes I would get a uh, at, at this restaurant. I'll yeah, it cost me more money. That'll make my bill even go higher. But it'll, I will get a glass of wine. Well, we actually thought about you brought up the restaurant. We thought about doing it this year at uh, uh, what's the name of it? Not Ruth's Chris. What's the other place? Uh, oh, I love Ruth's Chris. It's it's not that one. Chandler's something like Ruth's Chris, but uh, just delicious uh, steakhouse and everything. And we thought about doing it and we changed at the last minute. We said, no, we'll do it at home. But one of these real soon Thanksgivings, we're going to go out to eat. I think it's. Yeah, this is a place called Sperry's. You've you've got to get your reservation. We almost waited too long. We did it a month ago. Wow. And all we so it's only time they had left was eleven thirty and seven at night. So it's very popular. We took the eleven thirty. Normally I would call the first of October. Wow. And usually you could get in, you know, something like a twelve thirty or something normal. Yeah. But no, eleven thirty is okay. It's a little early, but that's okay. Yeah, no doubt about it. Well, if but you're good. but you know, the, the also what people do on Thanksgiving, there was another thing. I haven't I'm a college football guy. I love college football. Oh yeah, there's not a lot. Well, of that not on. so much. Uh, I just you know we. I wasn't from a. There was no pro football in in the state of Alabama. Atlanta Falcons, who are 
barely measurable um, <laughs> football over the years. Same with the New Orleans Saints. Immeasurably. I love Dallas Cowboys once upon a time. Yeah. But anyway, I didn't care about watching pro football on Thanksgiving. Yeah, and there's a lot of it. Yeah, there's, and I could care less. Yeah. So I'll find something to do in the streaming world. If you're into that, uh, Landman is pretty good. You know, well, I saw that all it... the time. What service <clears throat> do I want to get? And I know my friends like Ted have no service uh, because they don't want to subscribe to something and then have to cancel it. And that that just make the, just the way that things are is irritating. But it, but to me was this can't last. This whole streaming world versus the you saw where. Comcast is spinning off MSNBC, E, the Golf Channel, and all oh, this Oh, it's other. all going all a cart. They're I... breaking up all that because people are just cutting the cable. I'm looking at the ratings here. Man, they're down. You know, CNN on a Wednesday night recently in primetime on the Nielsen mm-hmm. service, which I guess is just the United States, mm-hmm. but had something like, you know, 400,000 people watching it. Gosh, that's, that's nothing. nothing. You know, it, like, it's funny. The number one thing on Fox was Gutfeld. No, Jesse Waters was number one thing. It was like 3.9 million. Wow. You know, and that's up there with the TV shows. But and, that's and a record. very small percentage of the population. I mean, that is terrible. Oh, yeah. That but is you know, terrible. you've got it all divided up, and I've got like 50 channels here. And boy, each one has like about 50,000 or 5,000 in some cases. I mean, little, nothing. This can't last. It's not sustainable. Well, something so else I noticed. That, all these things are going to start going away pretty soon. <clears throat> what, something else that I that I also noticed, like we subscribe to uh, NBA pack. I like NBA basketball like you like yeah. college uh, football, which we got to talk about BSU being 12 and Alabama being 7. I mean, come on. Alabama sucks. Whew, we're, we're terrible. Boy. Uh, so, but, but anyway, uh, so, you know, we're watching this NBA thing. It's, it's like $199 and you get the whole season, you get all the teams, you're supposed to get all the games. Well, I don't get any games that are on TNT. I don't get any games that are on ESPN. I only get games that are televised on a network. So in order to get ESPN, I have to get YouTube TV to get ESPN or TNT. The, or get Hulu. Yeah, the same thing is going on with the football, the NFL package, with the blackout dates, and all of this crap. That you, if you're going to go all a cart, you can't have blackouts anymore. You got to stop all the network broadcasts or change the contracts. So, right now we're in mid, mid, we're in kind of like limbo land because yeah, right, right. No way you can. Now I don't know about that that NFL package. If that indeed gets everything, I don't know. Well, it doesn't get blackouts. So if you have, let's say you have a, you live close enough to a major city within X amount of miles and that's what you want to watch, you should be able to watch it on network. But if you don't have network like Hulu or YouTube, you're not going to be able to see it. Oh. Or an you antenna, know, I guess. I haven't run into that, but I know at college football, ESPN, ESPN pretty much bought everything. Yeah, um, they seem Fox to have. Got, the CBS has got a small package. But it's uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, you know, yeah. up there. And Fox has a package that's different than all that. And ESPN's got the SEC. Well, and, and ESPN stuff. and ABC have been screwing with Monday Night Football, too, where they run oh, yeah. the game on ABC one week and they run it on ESPN Not consistently. That is, I don't understand that. I don't actually. either. I don't Why either. they ever took it off ABC, I don't know. Because all they've done is shoot themselves in the foot. With that, but they're just... all building, they all care about their streaming service, mm-hmm. and there's so many of them. There's no way they can all exist. If it's not on my ABC for Monday Night Football, I don't have ESPN, so I skip the game, and I don't care because I only like one team, and the chance of them playing how many times once a season on Monday night? Yeah, who cares? So I skip it, and then I go to YouTube, and I watched a condensed version of the game in 30 minutes for free. Well, okay. I you know, know but I mean, it's, just, it's yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, this whole system right now is real messed up. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. I, I'd say that likely, you know, MSNBC, if anybody really cared, is probably going away. Hmm. Uh, e, I wouldn't be surprised if it's going away. There's a whole bunch of them that are just going to cease to exist because they can't afford to exist. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I think you you're can't right. live off these numbers on a national service with paying the things they've got to pay. And you're certainly the days of seeing expensive news anchors, at least right now, it's going to go far down because they're just not getting an audience. Three million for Jesse Waters is enough to keep his salary, but all he's doing is having talking heads and Zoom calls. 
The right. expense for Fox is the, his salary is their expense. Yeah, you know, I, I would agree. Crew, keeping the studio hot and all that stuff. I would agree. I but would agree. Fascinating. It's very, I'm sure it's very profitable and economical uh, when they get that kind of rating. But with CNN, you know, yeah. they're still paying some of these people ridiculous amounts of money. It's a big hundreds, payroll. Hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to, it's not going to work out good. For At them. some point, the barrel is going to empty. It's going to, and that barrel is coming. I mean, it's coming yeah. on a lot of things and I just don't, and I don't understand how we're going to continue to have a real estate where, you know, a home, you start or starter home is in the 300,000s or something. I don't see how that works in the salary that people are. I, mean, I don't, the affordability of homes is a huge, huge thing. Same way with cars, where they're going to get yeah. around that. And this is where they're, they're trying to stop it from happening. But okay. These, these Chinese electric vehicles, mm -hmm. now they're saying there's, those were going to be pretty cheap. I think they're under 20,000. That's crazy. Well, and, and that'll just kill, you know, if they were allowed that, if that's allowed to come in, which I don't think it will be, uh, you know, that would, people just out of force would yeah, be forced. It would kill the domestic market. You you brought something up over, over time. We've talked about this many times about not being ready for electric. And you've seen the swing, like the rental car companies ditched their electric. Yeah, they, they got did. rid of it. People, they're just not selling the way they thought they were going to be selling. I saw a commercial on TV the other night. They're giving away the charger now with the car. You think that's going to... Yeah, they'll put it, they will install it for you. <laughs> but shouldn't they have been doing yeah, that to start with? I mean, if yeah. they really wanted it to work, it's like, oh no, you got to buy the charger for five grand more. You know, it's like like, come on. The whole thing is this, you know, all this green stuff was done impulsively. Yeah. You know, whether it's wow. the, it's the, you know, watch the show Landman. Are you watching that? No, but I want to. Paramount it looks Plus, good. It's yeah. great. It really is Paramount Plus one of your services. Oh, no. No, that's that. But what do you have? Do Tulsa you have King. I can't. Wa yeah, I got, I got, I got Apple. I got Amazon. I got Peacock. Right, Apple. Let's start with that. Netflix. On there? That's, that's, I have it maybe. I'm not even sure it's current. But. Silo is pretty good on on Apple. If you haven't seen Silo, it's all these people that are. I haven't even been to Apple to turn it down lately. Oh I mean, my gosh, just, shrinking is good. I've got so good. much stuff on Paramount Plus with Landman and Tulsa King. Oh, go and, back to Apple because they've come out with a whole other season of everything. So you got you got. Is the morning show back? Uh, the morning show is is back. At what season is morning show on? I can't remember if it's three or four or what it yeah, is. Yeah, maybe three or something. Yeah, I think okay. it is. Yeah, the morning show is back. They've, I, I they've released that. everything now back out. So Silo the Lioness is excellent on Paramount Plus. Oh yeah, that Talk looks good. King is excellent. Okay, maybe no. I'll ditch. Maybe I'll ditch Peacock and jump over to Paramount. Peacock's for... got a sale. You wouldn't qualify if you've already had it. For yeah. those of you that haven't had it, they're doing a dollar ninety nine a month for the first six months. And if you can learn how to have discipline. You've got you can go into that for two bucks during the winter months, and then and when it get out of it, months up, cancel it because yeah. you've watched whatever you know you want to, and the and the shows go into reruns. They have all the NBC programming like Chicago Med, Fire Police, SVU. So you can Order, watch all that stuff, yeah, that type of stuff. And then Paramount has all those streaming shows plus you know the NCIS is the FBI's. Yes. Tracker, the Tracker show is really good. And Tulsa King, that's a big one. People love Tulsa, yeah, Tulsa King. Tulsa King was very good, and they're going to do another season. There'll be two yeah. seasons. All right, well, listen, uh, have a very happy uh, Thanksgiving, since we're doing this before Thanksgiving, and I hope you enjoy your fancy restaurant uh, and your all your family visits and stuff like that. I mean, so, I'd prefer for us to have a big table where my whole family's sitting there. Yeah, me too. Pulling stuff out of the turkey's butt, but... <laughs> But not know, eating it for whatever sure. y'all put in there. But you know, it's like it's like what's going to come out of the butt of the turkey today? But, what's next? No, I'd all be An for egg. that if that's, if that if we live in that world. But uh, you got to live in the world where you live. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, that restaurant was a good alternative. So. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Well, uh, hey, good luck to Alabama. Eight and three. It's going to be an uphill it's road. Our, it, we've we've had a rough year. New coach. Yeah, and there's Oregon, which I hate to see. Oh. And, a quarterback that's very inconsistent, so yeah. we'll see. Yeah, good luck with that. And, uh, again, happy Thanksgiving. And a happy Thanksgiving to everybody who's listening right now. Indeed. And uh, we appreciate you. And we'll do a few more shows uh, before the end of the year. We'll have our year-end edition, and then we'll take a little break and come back after the first of the year. But we got a few more left in us. And, Jimmy, uh, have, uh, have a safe holiday. I know you're traveling, and uh, we'll talk to you uh, when you're all done with that. And uh, until next you time. Just enjoy that pumpkin pie. Oh, yeah. Stuffing. Yeah, watch out for your sweet bread. I'm sending it to your house, so – 
I like sweet bread. Yeah. I think maybe I like it. Also. I, I hope so. It I best. I could send you some, a pound cake. Or that would, would be fine. I want to say. You I'll got tell you another one I like. Oh, by the way, yeah. one of my favorites. I do remember it. Angel food cake. Oh, I like that, too. I like that. With no, see, I haven't had that in years, but I just, for something about it, I thought about it. That's the, that's the one you make strawberry shortcake with, right? You put the strawberry you can. in. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's that's a, yeah, you can. Oh, you make sure get, when you get your... Of strawberries are even close to being in season. The frozen ones, I don't know about those. Yeah, I don't know if you could get them right now. Uh, when you get your sweet bread, put uh, peanut butter on it. Oh, great. <laughs> I'll put some cranberry sauce. <laughs> All right. Until next week when we do this all again, I'm Derek Walker. He is. I'm Jimmy Carter. Good day. Good day.